On this episode of Retro Car Guy 530, I'm going to go through the DJI Fly app for Android and show you that there are three different versions of version 1.2.4 and the new in-app auto update feature does not auto upgrade to the latest one. So let's get into it. Recently I created a video showing you the upgrade of the DJI Fly app on the Android device from version 1.2.1 from the Google Play Store. Then to get the 1.2.2 version you had to download an APK file manually and that got you the version 1.2.2. And then there were releases of 1.2.4 and I upgraded that via an APK file which gave me the 1.2.4.917-official in parentheses. And then a few days later I ran it again and I found that the app had an update available in, using the new in-app update feature and it downloaded internally and I showed you that in my previous video which I'll have a card in the upper right here to go take a look at that video if you're wondering what I'm talking about where it auto updated to the latest release that I have on this particular device which is 124 and then 919 official. So this past weekend my friend from high school, my best friend Steve, he actually purchased this drone for me. I've been helping him with his Mini 2 Steve, again, you really didn't have to do that, but I'm truly appreciative. Plus my daughter's boyfriend, Chris, he actually gave me this phone. He was gonna be uh, tossing this away or recycling it. So it's a viable device for the Android version of the DJI Fly app. So again, thank you, Chris, for that. So this sitting in front of me is basically free to me, which is, uh, I'm truly appreciative given the current situation with the company struggling with COVID-19 stuff. So thank you gentlemen for contributing to the cause. And I purchased the DJI Care Refresh for the Mini 2 drone, especially now that it includes flyaway coverage. So I thought while we were working on getting my friend's, my friend Steve's uh, app updated from 122, which was the latest release he had on his device and it didn't have the in-app update automatically in that version that I'm aware of. It, uh, we got that updated to 124, but I noticed as I was downloading the APK file from the DJI website, it had a different version string inside the parentheses. It was actually 920-official. So I thought, well, when I go into this app, as I'm upgrading the firmware on the Mini 2, the controller, and actually there was one of the batteries in the Flymore combo here that needed to have the firmware updated as well. And I thought, well, it should prompt me to auto-update. It didn't. So I thought, well, that's very strange. So I went in and I'll have the screen overlay of the screencast because this will not be picked up very well from the overhead camera and go into settings and then go down to the bottom here and you can see that it's still DJI Fly version 124919-official. And that's as of today, we're talking Tuesday, the, let's see, today's the 9th of February, 2021. And the version that I downloaded over this past weekend was the 124920-official in the APK file. You can see it right in the file name itself. So apparently, there's a couple potential reasons for this. The version of the app itself is not marked correctly on the DJI website. Usually when a bundle, of a, a file release is made for an application, there's a file manifest, which includes some metadata, including the version string information. There could be a file manifest issue. There could be uh, something as far as they haven't deployed it to the auto you know, in-app updates location, or they haven't marked it with the correct version. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that because it did auto update for me from the 917 to the 919 release, but not to the 920. So it, it just is very, very strange that that has happened. So as you can see on the screen right now, I still have, again, not the 124919-official. And I can go out of the app. Let's go out and exit all the way out. Let's actually terminate the uh, fly app. Completely, let's get rid of everything. And now let's bring up the fly app again. And basically it would prompt at this point to do the update and it, it is not. So you can see it's not doing the auto update. So I'm gonna to have to go through that same manual process that I did when I first installed the version 124 from 122 and download the APK file. So that's go through that process at this point. I'm gonna to have to bring up the browser. 
And we're going to go hopefully to one of the let's go DJI mini few downloads. Of course, you could scan the QR code to go to this site as well to make it a little easier. But since I have it in the device, I'm just going to go with uh, typing it in. And I previously downloaded before. So let's go through. And you can see also on this particular screen, it's listing iOS version as 124. And we know from this past weekend, there's several videos out there. People are getting 125 for iOS. So this website is out of sync with what's on the Apple um, App Store. It, it doesn't. There's a lot of version mismatches going on right now between what's available on the website here as stated and what's available on, in the App Store for the iOS devices. And then the version here that's available in the in-app update on Android isn't getting the same version that uh, the APK file is. It's very, very weird. So I'm going to go ahead and download the APK file. And you can see right in the version info, there should be a 920 in there. And there is, so I'm going to click OK to go ahead and get that file. And then once it's completed, the download, I'm going to execute it just like I did. This is the same process that I went through going from 121, which was available on the Google Play Store. And then that was the latest and still is the latest release on the Google Play. And once it's complete, so one two, there's multiple versions out there. Google Play for Android provides 121. Then you to get 122, you had to download at that point in time, an APK file to get 122. And then 122 to 124 was another APK file download. And then in theory, the auto updates were supposed to take place, which it did for me one time, but now we're seeing that it's not doing it this last time. All right, we have the APK file downloaded. Let's go ahead and click open. Yes, we do want to install an update to this, so install. Did it flip there horizontally for landscape mode? The app is installed. So let's see what we have when we open it. It's initializing as resource data. So we're back to the screen that we were at before. Let's go into profile and go into settings and then scroll down. And look at that, 124920-official. So there are three different versions of 124 for the Android platform. And I don't know what's different between them. Could be just file manifest, file bundle issues, uh, maybe the app is the same. It's unclear to me what that is because DJI doesn't document that. But I just want to make sure that you're aware that this version inconsistency exists and the in-app auto update on the 124 version of the app is not working at this point, at least not picking up the 920 release. It, as I showed you in that previous video, it did pick it up from 917 to 919, but not at this point. So if you want the latest release at this point for Android, it appears you have to go back to the DJI website, download the APK file and install the application from that. So with that, hopefully you found this informational. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos, just like this one to the channel. Check out the description section for any additional information and check out any of my affiliate links or my Amazon influencer store if you want to support the channel at no extra cost to you, that'd be a great way support the company going forward and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.